Hey, Jay Sean, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. Um, how did you see um, Leah just, you know, respond uh, on the sidelines to, you know, that tough game? Um, he responded a, a lot better than expected. Uh, honestly, I, I know it, it was kind of tough and he took it and he was just it, like, he never really got down on himself. You know, he was frustrated, of course, but never got too down. So that, I feel like that's a, a good thing that he, he didn't let negative things like him affecting too much. And then he was, he was just trying to come back next drive and, and get better, basically. How did you see him respond in practice yesterday? Uh, practice yesterday, I, I, I heard he came in early and, and, and uh, started to basically fix those things from from Saturday. I mean, yeah, Saturday and uh, basically heard he came, yeah, he came in early and was trying to get those things right. Because most of the things that, that went wrong were are fixable. So and, and that's probably that's what we're going to do. Go to Jacob Steinberg. Hey, Jay, Sean, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, thanks. So Coach Oxley talked to us after the game and it said it seemed after uh, the first drive, the offense was seemingly out of rhythm. In addition to the turnovers, after watching the film, what do you think kind of led to that? Um, just just not taking what the defense gave us. And, and I feel like that's, that's kind of what we got away from uh, after that first drive. And, uh, and th that's kind of really what it was to me. And just a quick follow-up, would you say that was the biggest takeaway from the game besides the turnovers is just in the future as an offense, you guys need to do a better job of what the defense gives you and maybe not try and take as many shots or big plays deep? I mean, that's not really my call, but I, I, yeah, that's not really my call. I'm fine with taking shots. I, I honestly like taking shots, so. <laughs> Thank you. Go to Emily. Hi, Jay Sean. Um, Go, going off that, how hard is it as an offense when when you are kind of out of a rhythm? How hard is it to get back into a rhythm, and and how can you do that? Um, I guess more so than just taking what the defense gives you. Um, basically, I I think that's all it is is taking what the defense gives us and not not really trying to do too much or just just kind of stay, like do what we all preach, do our own job, and we and if we all do our job on each play, I feel like we'll be fine in the future. It, is there a little bit of a natural instinct you have to overcome of wanting to do something like when when you when the team is struggling, you all I'm sure kind of want to be the guy and be able to help help reverse that? Do you almost have to reel that back in a sense? Yeah, yes, and and I feel like that was a positive about Saturday on the sideline. We we kind of were telling each other like, look, this we we can't win this with one play with, with one drive. It's going to take consecutive drives, and and I feel like every job we came back and erased the erased the, the board and, and, and started over and tried again. And I feel like that, that was one positive thing about, about I, that, I, that we've seen on the side last Saturday. It, it wasn't like we were caught up just trying to do too much. Or if we were, we were trying to talk people down, like, look, we just need to do our job. And if, if we do, we'll get the success we want. And then last thing, sorry. Um, we talked to you a lot about in the fall what it would be like for you to come back to the field after a year off. Um, what, what did it feel like in, in that regard? It was amazing. I, it was it was very emotional, especially before the game. Like I, I don't know, I was rushed with a, a thousand different emotions. I was so excited and happy, and just that I, that I even got there and got to like to the first game. It was just a huge accomplishment from uh, for me, especially going through everything we went through in this off season, and with us not even knowing about a month and a half ago if we were going to play this year. Um, it just it was it was amazing. I, I I enjoyed every second of it. I mean. I wish the outcome could have been different, but I, I definitely enjoy being out there. Go to Dave Preston. Jay Sean, thanks again for joining us this afternoon. Uh, looking, uh, obviously, not the result that you guys wanted this past Saturday, but what sort of things did you see, did you feel during the game that you guys can build on as you move forward to week two, week three, week four, and beyond? Um, after watching the tape, like, like, I'm pretty sure you guys heard this before. Um, I feel like all the things that when we went wrong, I feel like w are, are things that we can fix. And, um, and I feel like with, with this week, I know it's a short week, but we, we got on it early yesterday and, and I feel like that, that, that game is behind us. So we're, we're just going to focus on now what we can do moving forward, which I, I think we'll, we'll be fine with. And a lot of times the tight turnaround is not ideal, but uh, in a after the result that you guys had Saturday, isn't it best to kind of uh, how how yeah. much of a relief is it for you guys to move on and 
it's not that you have to put this way. You can't even look at it. You have to look ahead to Minnesota. Exactly. I feel like that. That's why it's kind of positive that we, we have this quick turnaround because that, that, that game, we, 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 we weren't happy about that at all. And um, we, so now, like, it, it was easier to just get that out of the way yesterday and, and put that behind us. And now we're on a, a good Minnesota football team. Thanks, man. Great to see you back on the field. Appreciate you. Go to Ed Lee next. Hey, Sean, um, I think you led the team in receptions uh, Saturday. How did that feel for you, your first game back in almost two years? It was, it was amazing. Uh, I, I really didn't know that I led the team in receptions, but that's, that's, that's good to me. I wish I could have had, did a little, been a little more productive for the offense, but I dropped the third down ball that I got to have. So, I, I mean, it's cool, but like I said, it's a blessing just to be back out there and, and have the opportunity, but we got to get better. I got to get better. For Talia, um, as an offense, how can you guys sort of make things, or not make things, perhaps ease his transition, you know, in terms of being a starting quarterback for the first time at the uh, FBS level? I don't know. Like, like I said, I dropped that third down. I feel like I have to be more reliable and, uh, and be able to, like, calm him down when sometimes, like, because like when, when th things are going to go wrong within that, when, in that football game. So it – you have to be able to take those ups and downs, and, and which I feel like he dealt with fine. But I feel like we can, we like, isn't you can never be, like it. I feel like there can never be enough positive, like like trying to get him up and and, and get him back in his in, in his groove. So I feel like that's that's one thing we can do. On a couple of the uh, interceptions, uh, he appeared sort of distraught, you know, raising his hands to his helmets. And I'm wondering, did you say anything to him afterwards on the sideline? How did you approach him, or, or perhaps calm him down? Uh, basically, I, I try not to say too much. Um, I, I just try to let them know, like, it happened, it's over with, and, and now, now we're on to the next. Like, you talk to coach, whatever, and, and figure out what, what, what you didn't see or did see it and, and, and fix it. But that's, that's really all it is because as a quarterback, especially, you have to be able to get that out of your mind because like, you got to come back out there and play the next drive. So it, it, that was really what I was trying to tell them. Like, you're going back out there, so just go out there and then try to do better next time because that's all you really can do. Thank you. Go to Andy. Hey, Josh, Jay Sean, you, you mentioned before the game you were really excited. I mean, what point did it really hit you that you're playing your first game? I mean, was that getting in the stadium, getting, you know, on the field for warm-ups? I and mean, when did it kind of hit you, that excitement? Really, like, pulling into the stadium. Honestly, like, as soon as we pulled into the stadium, it was like, wow, I'm here. Like, I, like, I made it, like, here. And um, started crying a little bit. Uh, it, it was just, like, I don't know, it was, it was, it was a lot. And then like, I got on the field and I got called my mom and I told her like I'm here like and she made it to the game so I was I was it was great to have her there now that, that was really when and, and then before the game of course like when we were out there warming up you see the other team on the other side and you were with your guys and it was it, it was there's it was a great time there. Did you get a chance to talk to your mom after the game or during the game or anything like that? Yeah, I talked to her. Uh, I, I spoke to her before the game and then after I, I, I talked to her for a little bit. Yeah, was that in person or did you have to do a phone call after the game? It was in person, but we had to be socially distanced. So I didn't even get to give her a hug or anything. So it, it was kind of tough. But it, it was just the fact that she got to be there. And she was with me when I had surgery. Like, so she's really seen this process from day one. And the fact that she got to see me go out there and, and play, it, it, was, it was pretty cool. You, you mentioned you cried before the game a little bit. Was that in the locker room on the bus? But on the bus, like on the bus, as soon as we got, like as soon as we pulled into the stadium, I didn't even make it off the bus. It was, it was tough. I was like, well, I never, never felt like this before. But any anyone around you say anything? No, nah, nobody, nobody said anything. It was, it was. I'm, I'm glad they did. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. No problem. We have time for two more. We'll go to Sean Step. Hey, Jay, Sean, that was a great story, and glad to have you back. Uh, on the field here. So, um, you know, playing in front of the home fans, um, specifically in college, I mean, it's part of the college football experience, right? So um, to have the game at Maryland Stadium uh, with, with no fans, what do you anticipate, anticipate that being like on Friday night? Obviously, uh, you know, you guys have a job to do and the focus in the field is, is, you know, kind of take the fans out of the equation, even if there was fans, but what's that, how bizarre and weird is it going to be with no fans in the stadium? Um, 
It's definitely going to be weird, but uh, I, I don't know. It's, it's football. So when we're out there, we're in between those lines. I kind of try to uh, zone everything out anyway. So it, it, it's, I feel like it's, I got to look at it as kind of like practice, but it's, a little, it's, it's way more serious than practice. But uh, like it's, it's, it's different because we don't practice with any uh, music or anything. So like we're like it, it's pretty normal us to have like to be used to going off our, um, our team's like energy and bringing our own juice. So like it, I feel like that, that's not going to be too, too tough for us. Definitely gonna be different though, and it kind of it was different this week at Northwestern. Like you could tell, like it was like one whole, one whole side of the stadium is empty, and it was weird. But you get used to it. We'll wrap it up with Emily. I I, I just had a quick follow up about the injury stuff. Um, from from the way you talk about it, it, it sounds like have you ever gone through anything like this before with football being taken away? Did you ever have an injury like in high school or anything like that that was serious? Not, not that sat me out for a whole year, no. Okay, what was the longest you think you had ever had to sit out? I think my senior year, I sat out for like the first three weeks. Yeah, I think I sat out for the first two weeks of my senior year. Okay, what what type of injury was that? I got, I sprained my AC joint and gotcha. Gotcha. that was. Um, and then apart, apart from your mom, was there anyone who really helped you kind of through the last year? Um, a lot, a lot of my teammates really like stuck with me, especially like some of the guys that were here last year, they they definitely were with me throughout that process. Like guys like Pig, they like he went through that before, so he was kind of there for me. Got guys that are here like Dante and Cobbs, like everybody. They, everybody, they were. I wouldn't be able to do that with do. I don't think I would have been able to go through this without the guys behind me. So.